And back in August, we had the blue sturgeon supermoon. Tonight, we have the harvest moon. News 2's meteorologist Alex Libby is joining us now in studio to explain why tonight's full moon. This is an extra rare one, Alex. What can we expect? Well, Mark, it's extra rare because it's also a super moon. This time of the year is when the moon is closest to Earth, so it appears about 14% larger than a normal moon and about 30% larger than the smallest moon when it's furthest away. So. Another reason why it's so rare is that it's also part of a partial lunar eclipse. Starting at around 741, part of the Earth's penumbra, which is kind of the fainter shadow, will start covering the moon. And then the umbra will start covering it closer to 9 o'clock, and it'll peak at 944, making it appear a little bit red on about 8% of the moon. So you get the experience not only the supermoon, which will be big, but you also get to see the partial lunar eclipse. But it all depends on the weather. If it's cloudy, you're not going to see anything at all. The current clouds are in eastern Tennessee right now. You can see pretty easily that sharp cutoff line basically east of 65. It's cloudy west. We're seeing mainly clear skies. What does the forecast track show cloud tracker? Well, 730 clouds still over there. You start breaking it down around 930 when we'll see the peak of the uh, lunar eclipse. And then when it ends, we'll see even fewer clouds. Your best bet, though, is going to be west of 65 later in the night when those clouds begin to break up. And 